pandemic has increased internet and game streaming services of course that's the whole reason why i started playing because of the pandemic i don't think i would have been i don't think i would have discovered animal crossing or stadia if it wasn't uh for the pandemic okay let's see i am kind of interested in this right here because this is the exact reason that it would not happen i would not have been a gamer now or streaming games some i would have still been kind of streaming vlogs and maybe keto stuff but oh that pandemic hurt my keto uh <laughs> my keto streak big time what is cloud gaming for those of you guys here from animal crossing let me explain cloud gaming is a game streaming service to support playing games using remote servers and it allows players to play games on pc console and other devices without install the first major cloud gaming service was launched in 2010 wow really 2010 that's nine years before stadia and the and the blooming of cloud gaming during the pandemic was led by the short supply of hardware yep in fact cloud gaming has become popular for the past few years because of the global reaching cloud networks and a spread of super fast 5g mobile networks increased the usability of game streaming services so i actually had a 4g phone when i started playing google stadia and the I have, this is the Google Pixel, the Google Pixel uh, 4. <laughs> I don't even know. I got that phone because of 5G and because of Google. As a result, the market size of cloud gaming is estimated at 2 billion in 2021. Have the game players in Taiwan join in the trend. Huh? Over 80% of Taiwanese had interest in cloud gaming. According to the latest survey results, 65.1% of participants heard of cloud gaming. The, uh, there were 81.8% of participants who own their game console were, were aware of cloud gaming and approximately 50% of participants who had no game console knew cloud gaming. The potential consumer who would likely subscribe to a game in the next 12 months were 44.3% and male players were the, the majority. The, of 50% of participants who won't subscribe to a cloud game considered that they already had a video game console and some people thought that the coverage of 5g networks was not enough that makes sense like you subscribe to a game in the next 12 months were wow it says subscribe to a game i think they meant to a cloud cloud gaming service right? have you heard of cloud gaming taiwanese internet users oh is this all oh, the news list from taiwan it looks like i see some uh chinese songs writing right there yes uh jesus 18% yes and I follow cloud gaming yes but do not understand well no but I like to learn more about it no and not interested to learn more about it so only 18% follow cloud gaming news 40 ooh, that's a lot do not understand well okay. male female owns a home console has no home console oh okay I get it who are the front runners of cloud gaming? Most participants have heard of Sony PlayStation now, followed by Xbox Cloud Gaming, Google Stadia, and NVIDIA GeForce. Wow, Google's down at the near the bottom. Huh? When the players purchase cloud gaming service, they consider the smoothness of the game and refer to the price after then. Although the choices of payments and services are varied, 49.2% of consumers tended to buy games that they liked and were willing to pay uh 755 for each game on average this is uh taiwanese money i guess there were 37 percent of participants likely to subscribe the service and pay five i don't know how much that is for subscriptions fee i was supposed to go to taiwan when the when the pandemic started and it got canceled by the airlines and the uh yeah the travel people uh, likely to subscribe da, 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 and 32.8 percent of players wanted to pay for both game and subscription of platform service with uh, whatever it is what is uh nt dollar to us dollar uh third convert one maybe i should do the other way us dollar two yeah right here one US dollar is 29, so let's say 30, 30 uh, new Taiwan dollars. So what's that? 
49% of consumers tend to buy games that they likely own. 733 divided by 30, so that's 75 divided by 3, 20 something, right? 25, yeah, 25. Oh, yeah, it's a good price for a game, I guess. If you're, if you're like using the game. Okay. I don't know. This seems interesting to me. <laughs> uh, which cloud gaming service is the best? Ooh, this is come from a Taiwanese website. Okay. So what do they think? I don't even know if, if Google Stadia is in Taiwan. Google Stadia and Taiwan. Stay available in your country. Report. Let's see. You know, U.S., Canada, U.K., France, Italy, Germany, Austria, Spain. So I, I, it kind of hurts my feelings. <laughs> it kind of hurts my feelings that um, um, how do I say this without sounding? Uh, so these are the countries that are supported by Stadia. U.S., Canada, U.K., France, Italy, Germany, Austria, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Denmark, Norway, Finland, Belgium, Ireland, Netherlands, Poland, Portugal, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Romania, Hungary. It's just interesting that all these com all these countries have something very specifically, you know, uh, distinct from every other country in the world. <laughs> uh, countries and Stadia controllers region. Okay, Stadia and Stadia controllers are currently available in Puerto Rico and Alaska, but not Hawaii or Guam, which was crazy when I first ordered my Stadia controller and it got canceled. And I'm like, well, that has to be a mistake. So I ordered another one and it got canceled. And then I came on this page and this is what, what it said. So you can they can ship to Puerto Rico and Alaska, which is way up there, but not Hawaii and Guam. Yeah, so yeah, so not in Taiwan. So this this is gonna be an interesting little thing here. I mean it's just crazy to me. You know what I mean? Um when is it gonna get hit la la Latin America? Mexico is the thirteenth largest economy in the world, way bigger than some of those other countries that got mentioned. Um, uh, but still no no stadia. When I went to Mexico with my daughters and I tried to play it, there's certain plays that I could play. Uh, but my internet was a little bit too slow because I was have I, I had roaming internet. But yeah, I don't know. That kind of mm, it makes me wonder why. The services that the most popular cloud gaming platform provides are varied. Sony PlayStation subscription membership provides access to a library and the hundreds and the players choose the games, the streaming catalog. Xbox Cloud Gaming is considered as a heavy con tender on the one hand microsoft monthly rolls out updates to the xbox eco ecosystem on the other hand microsoft has the greatest com commitment to cross-platform play since this th september the xbox console owners have been able to stream their games straight to pc predictably the sales of xbox cloud gaming will be released from the supplement of hardware and equipment the players of google data cannot download or store the games on their devices so the players do not need to install updates or worry about file uh, sizes or hardware requirements the players of g4 is now actually own the game they call they can still download and play games which they bought after they cancel their g4 now subscription furthermore g4 now extensively supports browsers that include windows mac android tv android safari and ios with a chrome browsers version currently in beta to sum up cloud gaming is considered as gaming as a service and it doesn't say which one's the best okay oh right there oh my gosh which cloud gaming platforms have you heard of oh wow really sony playstation now it's cloud game i don't know any streamers that, that stream playstation now none maybe i'm in too i'm too much in my little uh Google Stadia Biodome. Is that what they call it? When you're in a certain group? Wow, Stadia is third. That's crazy. Because PlayStation Now and Xbox Cloud Gaming are not great. Mm. Wow. I'm actually surprised that GeForce is below Google Stadia because uh, maybe this is before the 3080 tier um, 
upgrade. Game stream? I don't even know what that is. And Amazon Luna. Well, how I don't even know how Amazon Luna is on the list if it's only available in the US. Very interesting. That's that is as true. That's true. I, I'm guarantee you when people ask them uh which ones have you heard, they just hear Sony PlayStation and they don't even know what the now means. Or they hear Xbox Cloud Gaming and they don't even know what the cloud part of it is. That's a good point. Wow, very interesting. I like that. I mean I'm glad I'm glad that Google's right there. Okay, so uh, I haven't even uh, you can, I don't think you can even play PlayStation Now on your phone, right? And can you even play it on a PC? If I go to like PlayStationNow.com or something? I don't even know. I have played Xbox Cloud Gaming. It looks really good when it looks good. But, oh my gosh, it's hard to play. I, I literally only got this controller. I got this controller when um when xbox cloud gaming had the one dollar subscription because it i couldn't use my stadia controller or my playstation controller so i had to buy an xbox xbox one and uh oh snap and with geforce now i can play with my i can play everything with my stadia controller except the switch okay so I think that was it. That's the end of that one. Yeah, I don't know. That was interesting for sure.